Okay, a few colorful comments here that I've added in color. Uh, the total energy you got to add between two and three. Uh, just intuitively, you should understand that you got to add energy to increase the internal energy, and you've got to add energy to do the work. So that we're going to add the 16 to the 6.6 .6 joules, so that the delta Q23 is delta U23 plus delta W23. 22.6 joules, the 0.6 really isn't significant at this point because we didn't go down to the tenths in the 21. So we can kind of round that off to 23 joules, which is probably good uh, to plus or minus one joule. Okay, so we have that, and that's our answer to the uh, energy that needs to be added. Okay, now another way of calculating that would have been to use a formula, delta Q23 is NCP delta T. And uh, we probably ought to go delta T23. So CP is uh, the uh, coefficient, uh, the, the uh, specific heat of the gas at constant pressure, uh, which is, as we know, equal to 5 halves R, which is basically what you need to increase the internal energy, plus 2 halves R, which is what you need to do the work, giving us 7 halves R. So that instead of uh, calculating delta U separately from the work, uh, which we would do by the 5 halves R and the 2 halves R separately. We do the 7 halves R, combining them into the CP, uh, so that instead of having to add these two bits of energy, we get it all at once, and we do the multiplication, and we come out with 23 joules. Okay, The 7 halves R comes out pretty close to 30 joules per mole Kelvin. Uh, another thing that I mentioned here that's uh, worth a quick mention now is uh, Pressure constant. Now that almost looks like a P with a subscript of constant, but this says if the pressure is constant, that's an arrow. That implies that the integral from V2 to V3 of P dV, if P is constant, the constant can be brought outside the integral. You got the integral from V1 to V2 of dV, and uh, that's just V, the integral of dV, antiderivative of dV is just V, antiderivative of 1 with respect to V is. V, and that's evaluated between the two uh, limits, uh, giving you the change in V, the V2 minus V1. Uh, so that's just P delta V, which is what I kind of used here. But of course, as I said before, since this was used to derive the integral in the first place, uh, we can just use what we understand about um, why pressure times volume change is equal uh, to the work done. Okay.